2. Can I send words to my past self and get the past self to act on the received information? The affair of making choices has always been represented by people who have made bad choices and who are running to get them amended. If only I had known. If only I could turn back the hand of time. If only I could be at that same day and same time and have the opportunity to decide again. People have minds to understand that things could have been different, other paths could have been taken. Somehow people want the strangest possible creature to appear in front of them to warn them just before they step upon a wrong path. People are more fascinated by those types of things than by having a small voice from a parent warn them. Looking at the line of time, people realize after having lived some time that life turns out to be what they were thinking. Each new day, new information turns and changes the perspective we have of life. Can I send words to my past self and get the past self to act on the received information? That would be a very brilliant service, for we all have things, decisions, and some materials we would love to revisit to change or to not touch at all. This is one of the main fascinations of the system of time, past, future, and present. It seems that everyone becomes very clever and thoughtful after events have happened, but the same people could say nothing just one minute before the event. The mystery of time and its mechanics and phenomena that work on humans is one of the remaining things that scientists all over the world have been working around the clock to perceive. The scripture tells us that God has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end, Ecclesiastes 311. God exists in time living the linear life just as people do, and his presence is the box of information that we need daily. The warning that people want and seek after sometimes comes in a simple and low voice, therefore, the majority of people miss it. We all have made mistakes because we didn't know better much of the time. The complexities of time have always managed to bring the information we needed to make the right decision before the situation, although we are not able to see ahead of time what the future holds. The complexities of time are then reduced to the level of simple obedience, not other complex theories of living, as many people wish it were. The voice of wisdom and sound understanding does not often scream and shout, it comes in the form of a still voice. Somehow we have to stop everything we are doing to be very quiet to be able to catch that still, small voice. God, who knows everything, who is the everlasting creator, has already placed his voice inside the hearts of humans to be able to warn and direct us. Therefore, we do not need to send our past selves letters to warn them of anything, at this present stage of life, we have to learn to listen to that voice that speaks from within our hearts. It is evident that people prefer the extraordinary, the time machine that comes with flashing lights to inform us of what is coming, the great creature shouting aloud with the voice of many waters, and even some crazy things that cannot be explained, but time so far has proven to us that things are not so. People are commanded to listen to the voice of counsel each time when they are faced with questions that demand them to choose between paths that seem very intriguing. 